Hi everyone, welcome to Water Goddess Tarot. So the topic for today is what moves will make you successful in your career? So you can see three images on the screen. I'll show you the close-ups as well. This is pile number one. This is pile number two. And this is pile number three. You can pause the video, take your time and choose the image that you feel drawn to the most intuitively. Meanwhile, let's just begin with pile number one. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. So let's just figure out as to what moves are going to bring you more success in your career. So for you, we have star upright, justice in reverse, Six of Swords, Dog, that says, Your loyalty and faithfulness is misplaced by serving too many masters. And then we have Love. All right. Okay, pile number one. Now coming to you, there is an imbalance between how much you give and how much you receive at your workplace. This applies to all professions. You could be in a nine to five. You could be somebody who has their own business for that matter. Okay. It applies to all professions. For example, if you are into a nine to five, you are being exploited by your seniors. You are being given more work than what you should be doing or you're not being paid as per what you deserve at your workplace okay so they are basically exploiting you they are making you work harder than what you should be doing okay if you have your own business i think you are charging less as compared to what you deserve if you're a healer if you're into the healing arts the healing industry you are giving out your energy to the people around you to your clients you are absorbing their energy you might be charging them less you might be entertaining them so much that you're feeling depleted off of your own energy so there are no boundaries when it comes to your profession when it comes to the job that you're in when it comes to whatever field that you are in for that matter okay i mean you are giving out more than you're receiving and this is the constant message that i'm getting because there is a constant imbalance that is happening now what moves can you make to you know be more successful in your career is to take a stand for yourself is to have healthy boundaries with the people around you is to state your demands is to actually demand for what you deserve there is a need for you to use your throat chakra and speak up for yourself you are not doing that if somebody is crossing your boundaries you are supposed to tell that particular person that client that boss of yours that you know what my timings are just till 7 pm i cannot work till 10 pm or I cannot work from home. These are the hours that I'm supposed to serve you. If you have clients who are, you know, just dumping all their problems onto you, you are supposed to tell them that, you know what? I have a life of my own as well. Please respect my boundaries. You cannot message me at any time of the day. I cannot entertain you whenever you want. You got to speak up for yourself if you really want to have that healthy space, especially mentally, because until and unless you're going to be healthy in terms of your mental health, you won't be able to do a lot in regards to your career because the kind of potential that you have to blow out is immense pile number one. There's a lot of fame that is there in store for you. There's a lot of recognition, respect, admiration that's there in store for you. But in order for you to reach that stage, in order for you to blow out, in order for you to, you know, attract more customers, more clients or better opportunities into your life, it is very important for you to start treating yourself in a better manner. Okay, you got to pour that love into yourself rather than being a people pleaser there is this tendency 
where you have a difficulty in saying no to people, in saying no to your superiors, in calling people out when something's wrong. But you have to come outside of your comfort zone and use your vocal cords, use your voice, speak up for yourself. Okay, there are very high chances that you have a blocked throat chakra and it is going to improve when you will start standing up for yourself. You cannot let the people around you dominate you. You cannot let the world pressurize you so much that you end up losing yourself. Because honestly, your performance is directly related to how you're feeling on the inside. And right now you're feeling extremely caged, extremely burdened by outside forces and this needs to change. Another thing that you can do to, you know, get more success in your career is to choose something that you love to do. If you are in a profession, a job, a career where you're not happy, it is time for you to make a switch. If you want to switch your careers, I am telling you that you are absolutely on the right path. If you've been feeling motivated enough to do that, take that risk in your life. If you want to leave your current job, please do it because it's not serving you well and you are definitely going to get another job that's going to pay you well, that's going to take better care of your health, your overall health, your mental, physical, emotional, spiritual health, all you're going to see a lot of improvement in almost all areas of your life when you make this switch. For some of you, if you've been wanting to kind of relocate, okay, you've been wanting to go to a new city, a new country and stuff like that, yes, please do it. There is change that is required and for most of you, that change is physical. Could be a change in career, could be a change in job, could be a change in your location for that matter. But until and unless you make these changes in your life, you are not going to see a lot of success in your career. Okay, so you got to follow the calling of your soul. There's something in your life that you really love, that you've always loved all your life. But if you're not doing what you love, then you are kind of cheating your own self. Okay, you're not being fair over here who you're not being fair to, you are not being fair to your own self. So pile number one, the only thing that you got to do if you really want to be successful in your career is to do something that you really, really love, that you enjoy, that brings you happiness, that brings you peace. Even if it's not going to bring you a lot of money, when you will start doing something that you love, the money is going to follow automatically. It might take a while, it might take some time for things to, you know, fall in place, for everything to blow out, for you to reach people or for you to, you know, climb up that ladder of success. But eventually money is going to come and it is going to come in numbers that you can't even imagine for yourself because you'd be doing something that you really, really love and that you really enjoy. So this is what you got to do. Speak up for yourself. Don't waste your time on people. Don't be a people pleaser. You've done that enough. Have healthy boundaries with people. Treat yourself as the king or the queen that you are. Make yourself your sanity, your number one priority. Come in that main character energy and you'll be good to go. All right. So this is what I have for you, pile number one. If you liked your reading, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Turn the notification bell on so that whenever I post next, you get notified. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do that via Instagram and email. The details for both is in my description box below. I'll catch up with you in the next reading. See ya. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. So let's just figure out as to what moves are going to make you more successful in your career. So for you, we have... We have Knight of Swords in reverse, Ten of Cups reversed, Strength upright, then we have Patience and this card says, make a stand for what you believe and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. Okay, 
Now, what is going to make you more successful in your career is you being patient. You are somebody who is very impulsive. You want instant results. There is a lot of high you get out of instant gratification, but you got to understand that it's instant. The way it's going to enter into your life at the same speed, it's going to leave your life. So if you're actually looking for stability, if you're actually looking for something that is going to, you know, stay with you for life, you got to be very, very, very patient. I know you've already been patient because I can sense that in your energy that you are tired of being patient. You are tired of God, universe, your angel, spirit guides showing you some kind of positive results or, you know, your dreams getting fulfilled for that matter. But patience is something that if you develop, you are going to be successful. Nobody can stop you from reaching the milestone that you want to reach. Okay. Because you're very reckless. There's a lot of restlessness. There is a lot of impulsive energy to you. And you just want it. I'm just getting this energy of somebody being extremely impatient and restless, moving in their room, walking in their room from here and there, just being over enthusiastic and, you know, asking their peers or their members, family members for that matter, as to when will my time come? When will I shine out? When will I blow out? It's high time now. I need success. I want success. I've done so much. I've waited for so long. And even if things have started to work out for me, why is the speed not increasing? Why am I not getting more appreciation? Why am I not getting more recognition? This is your state of mind. But what you got to understand is that the kind of success that you want for yourself is only going to come to you if you are patient. If you're not going to show patience, it's not going to come because there are certain things that you have no control over, okay? And until and unless you are going to learn this lesson of you kind of surrendering to the will of the universe or you going with the flow, the same cycle is going to get repeated. You are very defensive also is the message that I'm getting. If somebody tells you something, you are not ready to listen to people because you want to speak, you want to talk, you want to prove your point. But what you got to understand is that sometimes it's important to listen also. You might even be wanting to click off this reading. I don't know why I'm getting this message, but if you're getting this message, then I'm here to tell you that please do not click off. Listen to the full bit because I'm doing this for you. So just take a deep breath and try and understand what I'm trying to tell you at this point of time, okay? What's going to make you more successful is you not depending on your family members so much. There is this level of dependency that you have on your family members. Maybe you are on the lookout for financial support, emotional support, or any kind of support for that matter. The point is not revolving around you not taking help from them or you not expecting them to support you. But the point over here is you are way too dependent. You are just, you know, taking advantage of being privileged or there's something around you expecting a lot out of your family members. And when you don't get that, it breaks your heart. Okay. So in order for you to be successful in your career, you got to be your own person. You got to take a stand for yourself. You don't need a hundred people to believe in you. You got to believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself, that should be enough for you. Even if nobody in the world supports you, pile number two. You could be an artist or you could be into that kind of a profession that's kind of unconventional. But this applies to you even if you are in a nine to five as well. But all I'm saying is there's something different that you want to do with your life, but you don't have the patience to kind of wait. 
you cannot wait any longer now your angels and spirit guides want you to know that your journey is meant to be in a way that you're not going to get a lot of support from people especially those that are closest to you you are going to receive support it's not that you're not going to be supported but you are going to be supported by the people that the universe is going to send into your life okay but the universe is going to be a bit tough on you so that you do not become over dependent on the people around you the universe will push you outside of your comfort zone so if you really want to grow in your career you got to be your own person pile number 2 there is a level of maturity that you got to have there is a level of independence that you got to add into your life okay especially if you are somebody who lives with their parents and you've been wanting to move out to explore options in regards to your career you should definitely go ahead move out if you've always you know spent most of your life staying in your house with your parents with your family with that support it's important for you to just go out and explore the real world as well because that journey is going to teach you a lot it's going to build your character I'm not saying that people who stay with their family they do not see the real world or they don't have to go through a lot of difficulties no that's not what i'm talking about so please do not come at me why because people who face challenges when they are all on their own kind of develop a thick skin to deal with the world and i'm telling you from my own experience i've experienced both the sides okay so i'm being very neutral at this point of time and i'm telling you that it is important for you to go outside of your comfort zone and fight for yourself okay have faith there is this need for you to connect better with the spiritual world also because there's a disconnect in your life maybe you are running after materialism maybe you want a lot of money and there is nothing wrong in wanting to be extremely rich okay there's nothing wrong with that but there's time for everything your actions have to be in sync with your dreams if your actions are not in sync with what you want to manifest for yourself it's not going to happen because there's going to be an imbalance so ask yourself get that reality check done that are you putting in those many efforts the kind of success that you want to see for yourself okay i know i might sound a bit harsh over here but i really want you to do well for yourself okay that's what my aim is when it comes to this reading to kind of give you the messages that can help you in improving as a person so that you can perform better in whatever field that you're in all right and you got to develop that thick skin ya yeah, pile number 2 you expect a lot out of people drop those expectations expect from yourself the more you expect from yourself the more you will be able to deliver the more better you're going to become as a person so for you to actually be successful in your career there is a lot of inner work that you got to do okay if you've been doing whatever i've just said already very good good to go continue doing that but if you are just you know doing opposite of what i said if this reading resonates with you you should definitely make these little changes in your attitude towards life in your attitude towards success towards career towards hard work towards everything for that matter and you will see a huge difference in how smoothly your career graph is going to go up i mean you're not going to realize but you'll start accomplishing one goal after the other if you become a bit patient if you stop depending on people so much if you stop you know kind of expecting a lot from people there is this need for you to become your biggest cheerleader even if nobody is supporting you in the world 
it is your dream you are the one who is that visionary and if others are not capable enough to understand what your dreams are what your goals are there's no point in sharing your dreams with small minded people right so if you don't have that circle around you that's completely fine keep your dreams to yourself and just hustle in silence and then your success is going to be enough for the world to know as to how capable you are right so do not seek validation do not look for people to kind of come and support you because beyond the point nobody does you got to have your own back and for that you got to have thick skin less expectations more expectations from yourself just become internally strong you might be very you know muscular or thick and you know strong on the outside but on the inside there is still work that needs to be done and when you'll start kind of developing these virtues you will see a shift in not just your perspective towards your career towards life towards success but that will also reflect in your work in your career in how you're going to perform in the kind of opportunities that you're going to attract into your life all right that is what i have for you for now if you liked your reading please like share comment subscribe turn the notification bell on so that whenever i post next you get notified if you'd like to book a private reading with me you can do that via instagram and email the details for both is in my description box below i'll catch up with you in the next reading see ya hi panel number 3 welcome to your reading so let's just figure out as to what moves will make you more successful in your career we have seven of pentacles five of pentacles in reverse the moon in reverse camel that says trust that you have the resources to get through the challenges before you and we have intuition okay firstly pile number 3 you are somebody who works very hard okay you are a hard worker you work diligently you work around the clock you might be a workaholic or you might get a lot of high when you are always occupied or when you're working when you are busy basically there are some people who like to be busy and i think you're one of them because i see you being extremely responsible with the work that you do whatever you do for a living whatever field of career that you are in you are very passionate towards that okay you are very passionate towards that you are very very dedicated towards that but the move that's going to bring you more success is for you to have some downtime as well there is this imbalance in your energy where you are all about your work but you do not have time to relax you do not have time to kind of sleep properly you might not prioritize your sleep that much and you have this fear of asking for help okay you are way too independent for your own good but over here it's very important for you to not be the only one who's doing everything you have the resources you have people around you who will support you who will lend you their hand but in order for that to happen it's important for you to be vocal it's important for you to be that person who will ask for help because until and unless you'll ask for help you're not going to get it even if you're somebody who works from home ask your family to cooperate with you if you stay alone then get yourself a cook get yourself somebody who can help you out you know in terms of just cleaning your place or keeping everything where it needs to be or if you are an entrepreneur and you know you have limited resources you don't have a lot of people you got to hire more people because you are just one person who is doing everything on your own 
even if you are into a nine to five, wherever you are, whatever you do, you have to ask your co-workers, you have to ask your teammates to help you out. You have to ask your boss to kind of, you know, reduce the workload that's on you because you feel that it's way too much for you to deal with everything. If you have been working around the clock, it's time for you to kind of just hibernate for some time and rest. Your body needs rest, you need rest. And the more you rest, pile number three, the more money you're going to make. The more ideas are going to come into, you know, your creative space. If you are into a business or a field that requires you to use your creativity. And even if you are into something that's very technical, sometimes your creativity is going to save you even if a lot of technicality is involved because you will be in a better headspace for decision making you will be in a better headspace to kind of you know come up with prompts that are going to help people and help your entire team for that matter but i feel that you are way too independent for your own good this is the constant message that i'm getting also you often end up doubting yourself, your intuition, and sometimes you kind of just create scenarios in your head and you end up sabotaging yourself. I don't know what you do. I don't know. I mean, I know. I can see right now that you're an overthinker. You might procrastinate a lot. You might spend a lot of time procrastinating and, you know, worrying about you finishing your work or you kind of completing all your deadlines and stuff like that. But you don't realize that most of your energy gets wasted in you just thinking about how much work you're supposed to do. And then your productivity gets killed. So there is more action that you got to add into your life. There is more balance between your work life and your home life or between you working and relaxing that needs to take place. There's this energy where the universe wants you to slow down a bit and not take too much on your tiny little shoulders because you are tired. Okay. You're very, very intuitive, okay? Your work also might revolve around you using your intuition, okay? And even if it doesn't, still you're very intuitive. You're very gifted. But you often end up doubting your intuition. And this is what kind of creates a block in you being successful in your career. You've got to trust your intuition. So do not doubt your intuition because that's kind of your biggest asset. So use your intuition more in whatever field of work that you're in because your intuition is going to save you a lot many times. Your intuition is going to help you in making the correct decisions at your workplace. What's going to make you more successful is to have more faith in yourself, is to have more faith in the universe is to have more hope that things are eventually going to work out for you. See, in all honesty, out of all the three piles, you are a very positive person, pile number three. You look at life in a way that many people don't, okay? You trust the universe, you work with the universe, you co-create with the universe, you know how the universe works. So this is your advantage. But sometimes when you are under a lot of pressure, you forget everything that you know. And then you just have to start from square one. And that is when energetically you get disturbed. That is when you kind of lose track of how efficient you are or how productive you can be throughout the day. Okay. So my advice would be to take breaks in between, to not work so much that you end up feeling exhausted to not work so much that it leads to you just you know 
feeling all over the place because if you're not going to sleep well you're going to feel overwhelmed okay i am giving you this lecture over here though i got to apply this to my own life as well i feel even i need to sleep more but in all honesty pile number three you don't have to make a lot of changes there are very little changes that you got to make because i think you're already on the right path you are in the right career if you've been doubting yourself okay if you have been getting this nudge to enter into the psychic world to enter into you know tarot and reiki and astrology for that matter occult anything okay anything revolving around the healing industry if you have been wanting to try this out or if you've been wanting to make a career out of tarot reiki or astrology numerology do it do it because you're very gifted and this is a gift that's from your past life you should definitely explore it in this lifetime because you're very very psychic you're very intuitive okay and if you kind of enter into this field you are going to be a huge success when that's going to happen is something that i'm leaving for another day but you will be very very successful your predictions are going to be on point whatever you're going to talk is going to make sense you could be a very good life coach also for that matter could be a very good counselor a very good psychologist i mean you should explore these fields you could be a very good doctor also whatever needs healing okay you are going to be a 10 on 10 on that so if you have been wanting to explore these areas that i just mentioned it's a thumbs up okay take less stress how you can do that is keeping your emotions in check and sleeping i don't know why there's something around you and sleep maybe you're not very compatible or there's some kind of imbalance in regards to you not resting enough you need rest your body needs rest and especially if you're into the healing arts your body needs even more rest because you are channeling energies throughout right and if you're an empath also even if you're not in the healing industry if you're an empath if you're somebody who's very sensitive because i can see we've got you know intuition we've got the moon which tells me that you might have some heavy water placements or you are an empath you're very sensitive to energies okay you could be a highly sensitive person and when you're somebody who's so sensitive you are going to be sensitive to all kinds of energies be it high vibrational be it low vibrational you got to kind of be in that zone that you end up absorbing only what you want in your energy field and you got to you know kind of just shut down the low vibrational energies or the negative energies that might be present around you so in order for you to invite more success into your life into your career it's important for you to have that work life balance it's important for you to ask for help it's important for you to listen to your intuition it's important for you to not procrastinate to not give your energy to things people places situations that are low vibrational that kind of you know push you towards negative thinking stay away from that have faith in yourself believe in yourself even if you are facing some challenging times some obstacles in your life take that with a pinch of salt and a lot of motivation that you're going to come out of it because everybody goes through ups and downs everybody goes through challenges and you know everyone goes through highs and lows in life so it is a part of everybody's life you are not alone and i just feel i don't need to explain you this much because you are spiritually and energetically very very strong so you don't need this guidance but you just need this reminder and i'm here to give you the reminder because somewhere down the line i know that you already know that you need this okay so yeah that's about it and i one more thing there's a lot of money that's in store for you pile number 3 and 
the more you kind of have that balance between you working and you pampering yourself, you enjoying life simultaneously, the more money you're going to attract into your life. There's a lot of stability that's in store for you. So continue working towards your goals, but also continue investing time in self-care as well. Okay, so this is what I have for you. If you liked your reading, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Turn the notification bell on so that whenever I post next, you get notified. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do that via Instagram and email. The details for both is in my description box below. I'll catch up with you in the next reading. See ya!